What's up, interwebs? So this is going to be a little bit of a rant uh, about some of the functionality in OS X. And I found some solutions to the problems. But first, I need to tell you what the problems are. The first problem I have is with full screen mode. Now, I know a couple of people who also hate full screen mode in OS X. And there are two reasons why. The first reason is that this bar up here has very useful information a lot of times. In certain apps, it doesn't matter, okay? Like, when I'm in Safari or, or, or Firefox, I don't need to come up here and, 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 you know, open a new tab like this or copy and paste. Like, I'm not an idiot. I know how to copy and paste without using, like, this function up here, okay? And if I want a new tab or new window, bam, there it is. You know, I don't really need any of this shit. Now, maybe a bookmark every once in a while, but most of my bookmarks are here, and I don't need that crap. Okay, history, I don't, I don't ever need to go into history. Okay, you know, all this stuff up here, it's not really useful. So when I go into full screen mode, I don't really miss that kind of stuff. Okay, but there are some apps where that stuff is really important. Okay, uh, apps such as Final Cut. There's a lot of important commands that are hidden in these menus that you can't just get to by clicking on the screen, okay? So depending on the app, it can be a real pain in the ass for this little menu bar, this set of options, to be dis you know, to disappear, to be gone. It, it, it's, it's annoying, and it, and it disrupts the functionality of the application and my flow when I'm working. And a lot of times, things... I notice these things when I'm working because it's annoying to me. And I hate full screen mode for that reason. This is the main reason. The, the other reason, um, which Alex Krasny's video describes perfectly, is it's stupid that, it, that the button is here. For years, all of the controls have been in the top right or left. And now all of a sudden they put it in the top right. Why? Why is it over here? It doesn't belong there. And when you go to full screen mode, the button disappears. It should still be there. But no, they decided to put it right there. Why? Why is it there? Th this is the system menu. This is like where my sound and, and, and like Wi-Fi settings are and Bluetooth. Why the hell is an application button up in the menu? It doesn't make any sense. That's like, that's like if this red button was just up in the menu somewhere. That would be stupid, right? You'd say, why is the close window button in the menu bar? It would be stupid, right? Well, it's just as stupid to have a full screen button up there. Look, how, how hard would it be to just keep the button right there? Just keep it there. It's not in the way. Just keep it there. But no, no, they decided to put it in the menu. So I hate full screen mode for that reason. But you say, oh, there's a solution to that. Well, there's been a solution to that for years. Just use the green button. Well, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is beautiful. It's full screen. Everything... I can see everything because it's nice and big. The menu bar doesn't get deleted. And the stupid button is not over here in the system menu. So this little green button right here, that's the, that's the magic button right there. That, that's what fixes everything. Okay? But this doesn't always work. Because even though an application like Firefox, it works beautifully in Firefox. Let's go to another space. This window right here, okay? This is a finder window. It doesn't work. And it's aggravating as shit because I'm here and I want to go full screen with this window for whatever reason. And I click on it and it doesn't work. You know? And it's stupid. I hate it. I hate how it can't go full screen. And a lot of times, like, like you're seeing now, it just goes to random positions. It's like, why, why, is, why, is, that, why is this a position that it's going to? It doesn't make any sense. Okay? But there is a solution to this problem. Okay? And the solution is this application right here, Better Snap Tool, okay? A lot of people that use Windows love the snapping function of Windows, and I'll admit, it's one of my favorite, if not my only feature that I like, is, is the snapping feature. And now it comes to Mac with this Better Snap Tool. Now you can't see the price, because I've already downloaded and installed it, but I believe the price is somewhere between like one to three dollars. It's super cheap. And if you don't have this on your computer, you need to get it today get it now because it's it works so well and it has so many awesome features in it the functionality is great okay anytime i want to go full screen bam i just went full screen okay because all you have to do is just like windows you grab it you move it to the top and then boom it's full screen it gives you a little display a little visual display to tell you hey you're we're about to go full screen or hey we're about to go to the left or hey we're about to go to the right it's beautiful 
Okay. The other thing that's really cool is if I have multiple windows open, I don't know why that one closed. If I have multiple windows open, I can snap them to corners. And this is beautiful for Finder because I'm constantly in Finder trying to transfer things from side to side, from, from one Finder window to another. And I hate them when they're overlapped like this because it's a pain in the ass to have to deal with, okay, when they're, when they're like this. Okay, so being able to snap them to corners is beautiful. It's a thing that works. It's a thing that's so simple and it just makes sense to use. Okay, and, and I love it for that. Now, another thing that this becomes incredibly useful is this tool has additional functions. It's not just the snapping. Okay, if you go to this extras menu, you can customize the menu buttons that are already in the application or, or already in the window. And this is amazing, okay? So for example, this right here, click with the middle wheel or, or the special mouse buttons, and most of the time it's just the wheel, and it does these cool things. So if I have three finder windows, I can click these three buttons. So if I, if I mouse click or, or the scroll wheel click, the red, which is on the left, it goes to the left. If I click the one that's in the middle, the yellow, it goes to the middle. Or if I click the one that's on the right, the green, it goes to the right. And now I have thirds. You see how beautiful that is? It's awesome. It's functionality that's simple and it just works. It's beautiful. I love that. Okay. Now the other thing that's really cool is this secondary option. Where if you right click on any given you know, button, it gives you a, a, a set of menu options. Okay. And this is also beautiful. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But just to show the functionality, if I right-click on this button right here, and again, I, I had to set this custom. It doesn't come like this. It comes do nothing. But you can, you know, do whatever customization you want. This right here makes sense to me as far as thirds go. Because this is a lot like Safari when I, when I, when I right-click on something, you know, or when I middle-click the wheel. It just opens a new tab. Like, like that functionality with the center, like scroll wheel click makes sense for me to do these like thirds left third, middle third right third okay you can use right click but i don't want to because right click for me is a menu like when i right click on something it brings up a menu so it doesn't make sense for me to do it here but the the middle wheel makes perfect sense for thirds right here if i right click it brings up a menu of every single thing i can do with this i can maximize something i can i can minimize something i can Put it in the middle of the screen. I can do so many functionalities, but the biggest one, the biggest functionality, and I'll show you here. Um, this is what I have to do on a regular basis um, with my videos, and I'll, I'll close this. But there's a ton of ton of functionality you can do here. Okay, it's awesome. This application is sweet. Okay, this is what I do on a regular basis. Most of the time, I, I have these two folders here. There's the video queue and the video archive. Okay, now. As a video, as someone who works with video, when I post things to YouTube, oftentimes I don't post them immediately. So when I'm, when I'm ready to post them, it goes in this folder called the queue. And this folder holds all of the videos that have not been posted but need to be posted. Because sometimes I'll work and I'll, I'll, I'll work on like three, four videos at a time and I don't want to waste time with posting them individually. So I'll just get all of them done at one time and then post them all at one time. But that means every once in a while a video will get finished and it'll just not be posted. So I have to put it somewhere. <clears throat> so what I do is I put it in this queue folder. So every, every video here in this queue needs to be posted to YouTube. And once it's posted to YouTube, I dump it in my video archive. Okay. Now what happens is when a video gets posted, I have to dump it from the queue to the video archive. Now this is like a random Pokemon video. And let's say I grab this video <clears throat> and I need to put it in the archive. So what do I do? Well, there's a couple of ways to accomplish this. The most annoying and the one that I hate the most is where I grab the video and I have to hold it over. I have to hover and wait like 30 seconds for this shit to open. And, it, and it's so aggravating. And then I can finally drop it in there. But I hate that. I hate that functionality. Why? Because now if I want to go back to grab a second video, I have to go back to the queue. And guess what? When I grab the second video, I have to do the whole thing all over again. It's aggravating shit. Not to, menu, not to mention, it takes too long. There's like, how many steps are here? Like one, two, like two, three, four. There's like four steps I have to go through. So every single time I want to move a video, 
it takes all of these steps just to get to the right folder. And it's, it, God, it's just, it takes so long. And I hate having to hover and wait those like two seconds to move it. I can't stand it. It takes too long and I don't like it. So what's another option you say? Oh, well, Mavericks has this new awesome feature called tabs. Okay, let me explain to you how tabs should work. If I'm in Firefox and I want to open a new tab, all I should have to do is click, okay? See, I use the mouse wheel and I click and it opens up a new tab. It's beautiful, okay? This is how tab functionality should always work. But what I have to do if I'm on like a trackpad or if I don't have a like a middle wheel or whatever, I, I have to do this. I have to right click and say open a new tab. This takes too long. This this is annoying. I don't like it. Okay. The other thing is I might have to come up here or I have to make a new tab first and then I have to open something, you know, or I have to click this button and then make a new tab or, or open my window. And it's annoying. I, I don't like that. It takes too long. The, the middle wheel, it's perfect. It does exactly what it should do and it does it in a fast, efficient manner. When I'm over here, that doesn't work. I can't just middle click. Nothing happens. Okay, so what do I have to do? Well, I have to come up here and I have to say new tab or I have to come over here and say new tab, you know. So not only is opening up a new tab in Finder take forever and it's not efficient, like I said, put like the center wheel. That makes it so much easier for me to open new tabs, but whatever. Um, because not only does it make a new tab, but it opens what I'm clicking in a new tab. That, that's the beautiful thing is making a new tab is not hard. You know, you can, you can just open new tab or use like command, I guess command T. Yeah, there you go. Command T. But that's not the point. The point is I want to open this right here in a new tab and I can't do it. There's no way for me to do that other than like using a right click. You know, I can't even like open with new tab here. Like I can't do it. You know, I guess here I can open a new tab, but you know, whatever. The, the, the point is using tabs in the finder takes too long. And they added this function and it was supposed to be this big selling point of Lion or not even a selling point because it's free, but it was supposed to be this real cool thing that they have in Lion and it's completely worthless to me. I never use tabs. I hate them. They take too long to implement. And even if I open a new tab, the same freaking problem exists where I have to like go to my area and then I have to do this stupid thing where I have to hover and wait before I can drop it in there. I, I, I hate that. It takes too long. Okay, it takes too goddamn long. So what is the solution here? Well, we're going to use better snap tool to fix our problem. But what I've been doing and what I'm going to continue to do is just use two finder windows because it's much faster that way. I can go exactly where I don't want to go and then I can just drop my videos in. Okay, I can drop them in one at a time. I can drop them in bulk. You know, I could switch it up. I can, you know, do whatever. And it's super fast. You see how quick that was for me to drop those three videos in there? Because otherwise... Otherwise, what I'd have to do is I'd have to grab these and I have to go to Arca, blah, 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 let's play, Pokemon, and then I have to come back to the queue and I gotta grab week one and I gotta do this and I gotta go to news and blah, blah, blah. Takes too long. Takes too long. I, get, ah, I can't stand it. But when I have two windows, when I have two windows, it's super fast and it's beautiful and it works. Okay? But the problem is with these two windows is that they're always layered over each other, they're always in each other's way, which is annoying. So, how does the better snap tool fix this? Boom. Boom. Fixed. So, see how easy this is? Now I can click and drag from one to the other, and it's super fast. Okay? Now, sure, I could do this before I had better snap tool. I could just click and drag and rearrange the windows however I want, which is typically what I would do. I would do something like this, and then I would do something, you know, but then they're different sizes, and it looks weird, and it works, but it's just, you know, it's kind of poopy at the same time. But this right here, this right here... Oh man, it's beautiful. Okay, it's, it's wonderful. But this is not always what I want because sometimes I'll go, you know, I'll go a couple folders in and then stuff starts to get cut off like this. Like this shit starts to get cut off where, you know, it, it doesn't show up all the way. And, you know, I, I want to see the path. I want to see the full path of the, of the menu or, or, or my folder. So the answer to that is like I said, I showed that functionality earlier and I'll, I'll show it again. That that extra, where you go to extras, this right here, show menu with all icons, with all actions, that is what I, that's, that's the money maker right there. So all I have to do is right click and I say top half, right click, bottom half. 
boom. This right here, what you are seeing is the best way to do anything in Finder. Okay, I can have my current folder and my destination folder open at the same time. Nothing gets cut off because it's full screen. Okay, it's not like the sideways snaps over here and over here where stuff gets cut off. I see the full path and I have my uh, current folder and my destination folder. So it's very easy for me to just grab this stuff, put it in here, switch over, grab this, put it in here. It's, it's so fast. Okay, it's so fast and it just works. This is why every person who uses their Mac in any some kind, in any like professional way, specifically with video, it's beautiful for video, needs to have better snap tool. What I just showed you is why you need to have better snap tool. Okay? Because sometimes it's not just this. This folder right here called raw, this is where I tend to have a lot of like random ass files. Okay? And sometimes it gets ridiculous with all these video files. Like look at all this shit. Like, look at, look how many files I have here. You know how long it would take for me to, like, use that hover functionality where, like, I hover over it and then drop it off? Like, do you know how many folders I have? There's, there's like, a billion of them. And, and, and this, you know, look at all this shit. Like, I don't have time to do that. But using this system where you have the top window as the, the, the current window and the bottom window as the destination or the target, it works so well and it's so seamless that, that you will love using it. You will absolutely love using it. So, use better snap tool. It's awesome. The snapping functionality of Windows, yeah, it, it, it's kind of handy. It, it's cool. You know, there's full screen mode, whatever. You know, you can, you can, you know, snap left and right and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's, it's awesome for that, you know. And again, it gets rid of the issue where, you know, when I hit the green button, it doesn't go to full screen. Now I can just, you know, go to full screen. And it works really well. It's efficient. And it works. Better snap tool. It's awesome. It fixes so many of the problems I have. And if you're like me and you have these same problems, it'll fix your problems too. It's super customizable. It's super user friendly. The UI is great. And you can customize the UI in, in various ways if you don't like the way it looks. You can customize, you know, uh, the color that, you know, it brings up when you have when you have this right here. You see mine. It's this like little black transparent with this little gray border you can change that if you don't want it you can change it to be yellow or, or, or light blue or whatever color you want if you don't want it to be this black shade you can change it to any color it's it's great okay this this app right here it's been out for a while i'm not the first person to like figure this out but this has helped me so much with my workflow and it will help you too i can't recommend it enough for only like three bucks or you know four bucks max whatever this is one of the best applications that I've found on the App Store and, and really one of the best applications that I've been using recently. It's awesome. Okay? Use it.